Okay, I think I am live. All right. Hello, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, so let me just tell you how this reading is going to go, okay? Um, this is going to be a love reading, all right? Tomorrow, I am going to do your all signs read because I was supposed to do that for Virgo and I did not. So I want to be able to do it for all the major signs and I want to do it all in one day. So tomorrow, I'm going to have all signs with your particular sign. So it's going to be Aries through Pisces, okay? Uh, wait, is it Aries through Pisces? I think it's Aries through Pisces, right? Um, so I'll make sure I have that for you guys tomorrow. I may actually do that live so because now I'm able to do that, uh, but we'll see. Um, but this is going to be strictly mainly dealing with love, okay? But in the beginning part of the reading, what I want to do is kind of go over some oracle cards and do kind of like an overall um, of your life, okay? And I want to use the tea leaf oracles and we'll just see what's going to come out here for you, okay? All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. This is going to be for you, Taurus. Let's see what's going to come out here for you. Let's see. Okay, it's not a love reading. I mean, it's not, a, it's, it's a love reading, but it's other things as well. But when I know that it's dealing with love, I'm just going to tell you. I feel like for some of you, you were in a relationship where you did not necessarily have a voice. You, you, you spoke your mind, but at the same time, you bit your tongue a lot because you were trying to make the connection work. Now, we already know, Taurus, you, once somebody pushed you over the edge and then that's it. That's most likely really the reason why you, you held your tongue because you're like, if you push me there, okay? So I do feel like for a lot of you, you bit your tongue a lot with someone you were dealing with. Now, this could also be a family member as well, right? It could be friends or whoever. When I mean, you like, I'm warning you, okay? Like I'm telling you right now. Um, but that's something that I'm saying that you guys have experienced multiple of times. Okay. Especially here with this whole bull thing, right? Can you guys see that? Now, as far as love, if this does have something to do with love, this person may travel a lot. This person could have lived at a distance. So for you, you did not want to be problematic with your tongue anyway. So you're like, okay, it, it, maybe it's a misunderstanding, right? But after a while, Something became not so much a misunderstanding. Something became very clear to you. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and see what that was. This is for Taurus. Let's see what this was for you, Taurus, or what this meant. Somebody was holding their tongue. I'll tell you that. Ooh, sorry. We have good luck. <clears throat> And misunderstandings at the bottom of the day. I knew it. There was a lot of different arguments and stuff that I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So you have karma. You have obstacles. Now, this is past energy. I'm reading these cards a little bit different. First of all, you were dealing with someone who was, who was karmic. Karmic meaning past life, not necessarily karmic the way you guys say it. Take it however, right? Yes. I mean, they were problematic, but I mean, people can be. I mean, whether you're, you're, you know, a karmic or not, right? But I do feel like there has been a lot of um, karmic or, you know, karmic things that have occurred with you. Getting a job that you didn't think that you were going to get moving into a place that you didn't think that you were going to move into, something like that. And definitely in love and relationships, this is what I'm saying. You came across someone who you had intense feelings for, and you're like, what the hell is this? I've never experienced this in a day of my damn life. And yes, that's the reason why you felt that way, because it was very, it was something you were supposed to feel. Okay. But it's interesting because the karma card, I do feel like someone could be, experiencing karma for bad decisions, bad decision making. Someone is experiencing karma. Okay. You had good luck. And I'm trying to figure out how that is working for you because I feel like you may have been able to get out of something that most people would not be able to get out of. And it was because the planets were aligned perfectly for you. 
This could have been jail time. <laughs> it could have been somebody gave you some money when you're supposed to have the money, or it could have been someone helped you to get out of a relationship. Okay. Either way, I feel like you got out of something that you were not meant to be in. And it was because it was all aligned according to the planets. Okay. Let's see where you are now. Let's get it. This is for Taurus. Let's see. <laughs> Taurus, I love y'all. I can see y'all little beady eyes. Okay. All in the screen. Oh, I know that's right. Uh, I split the deck and it has great worry over nothing. I see you guys receiving some type of gift. You know, why do y'all always have this energy where people want to give y'all something? It's like, it's like, what, like, uh, how in the world did y'all, do y'all have this energy compared to anyone else? Like, why are y'all getting this special treatment? Okay. But you are, shout out. Now here you have guaranteed success. Now this is the energy that a lot of you guys are in. Now you may feel like a failure right now. You may be feeling like, okay, yes, I'm not feeling successful. I have not accomplished half of shit that I was supposed to be accomplishing. Excuse me. I am not experiencing half of anything that I'm supposed to be experiencing or accomplishing anything. What guaranteed success are you talking about? Well, the thing is, is that a little bit of what you're experiencing could be karma, but a lot of what you could be experiencing if you're not succeeding could be your own motivation or the lack thereof. OK, a lot of what's happening with you could be because your own choices. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying it to everybody, but I am going to say I've talked to plenty of people on the phone and I know some things that they're experiencing due to what they've done, due to their own decisions and, and, and like the inability to actually reason OK, however, you can be successful if you start listening to your inner wisdom. And, you know, I feel like spirituality is very much so happening here. Guaranteed success is going to happen for you if you are aligned with your purpose, period. And if you're not. OK. A lot of you have a lot of worries you're worrying that you're not going to be a success. Yeah, you, that's where a lot of you are. You're worrying that you're not going to, again, like I said, achieve what you want. But let's get to the ones who are. Guarantee success here. And what? I feel like a lot of things, actually. Look at this. Oh, my God. Some of you guys are crying over something that you guys don't have anymore. Oh, wow. We got... News of a birth or opportunity. Some of you guys may have found out that somebody you were in love with may have had a baby. It wasn't with you. Some of you guys may have heard about that. Some of you guys may have been pregnant and, you, you know, it could have been a body issue where you couldn't hold it or you may not have been able to, you know what I mean? So some of you may have guilt because of that. Some of you guys may be just feeling bad because it was something that you didn't think that you had to do. Okay. You, you get what I'm saying, right? I do feel a lot of emotions here, a lot of tears. And it can be still because of you being separated from someone. Some Something is not in your life. Someone isn't in your life. But I do see some sadness here, okay, with this great personal sorrow. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more for Taurus before we get to your future. And then we're going to get into the Tarot. What does it say? Birth. I don't think that that's a coincidence. You know, because... I do remember that Taurus, and this is not for everyone, but I do remember that Taurus, for a lot of you, there was like this, it, you, you can see it from the stars. A lot of astrologers are saying that how a lot of Tauruses were going to, you know, some of you were going to get pregnant or, you know, but some of you guys could have. Okay. Or some of you guys are crying because you can't. Just depends on your situation. Wanting to birth something. Whether it's a relationship with someone and no matter what you did, it's not working or it isn't working or it did not work. You could not birth that. You couldn't conceive it. 
Either way, it is something that did not come into existence. And this is what a lot of you guys are suffering from right now. Either a real baby or something that you cannot conceive. Okay. In this physical with someone. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's get the future here. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm 10 minutes. What the heck? That went fast. Okay. Let's get future here for Taurus. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, we have solid foundation and success. Again, tons of success cards coming out here for you. Now, in the future, it has, you know, you have a decision to make here. You have a decision to make. All these decisions that you're going to be making is going to be major. They're going to be major and they're going to be faded. Okay. And I also see that things are going to start moving for you sooner rather than later. So basically, relationships have been very slow coming in. Maybe it's been you making a slow decision about something. Or you will be making a decision and it's going to really take you some time to actually, you know, take action on it. OK. Tower with this car feels like institution. Some of you may have uh, some type of court because of traffic stop, because of a traffic something with the wheel, something dealing with your car. OK. Where someone. um it could have been roll rage or something like that, or someone is accusing someone of something, dealing with something, dealing with the car, okay? All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading here with the Tarot. All this is for Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going to come out here for you. I want to make sure I don't shake the camera. Okay. Here's that two of swords. Got oh, that whole decision thing. I'm not going to take it, but it's just here. All right. You got the seven of pentacles, four of wands. Remember, this is the love portion only because it's supposed to be a love reading. Seven of pentacles is a question. Do I want to invest? Is this worth investing in? Whether it was you or someone, basically that was what they were thinking. If it wasn't you, if it wasn't you, this is what they were thinking. And if you guys are separated, they didn't think that it was worth investing in. Or if you separated from this person and you just, it was you, you were like, this ain't it. Okay, this person is not going to give me what I want. This person is not going to give me stability. Now, your next card is the four of wands. Either way, you've been disappointed in something, period. You've been disappointed. There's been plans that you may have made with your person. You guys may have made plans traveling, made plans for moving in with each other, all of that, and all got canceled because someone was indecisive and started acting funny style. You may have plans to see each other if you live at, in, in, in a, at a distance and all of a sudden the plans was canceled and ain't in your life no more. And you're looking back here with the seven of pentacles like we done did all of this. Like I, I had so much fun with this person. We did all of these things together. This seven of pentacles come out of your read almost every time I do your reading. And it's always that reminiscing. It's always thinking about what happened already, what occurred already. And you are very much so disapp disappointed here with the four of wands because you're not celebrating. You're not happy here. Okay. For a lot of you, whether you're with someone or not, you're not at this place. Now, let me go ahead and see what's going on with your outside position here. Oh, wow. I mean, when I tell you here with the Queen of Swords, you cut this person away. Both of you guys basically kind of cut each other off. You got mad at them because they were acting funny and you may have blocked them. And you were like, you're not going to see anything on my account. I'm not going to talk to you. And they were like, OK. They obliged. You didn't think it was fair because you wanted them to fight for you. But the truth of the matter is they were not where they needed to be anyway. Like there was nothing about this that felt um, um, equal and balanced. It wasn't fair in the first place. 
So you were like, you were trying to basically punish them by not communicating and they obliged. They were just like, oh, okay. And so now you're working, they're working, they're, they're, they're doing what they're doing. And you're kind of off like, wow, I can't believe that they stopped talking to me. That's what I'm seeing here. And this person had a real bad attitude for some of you, not all of you, but the way that they talked to you was very nasty anyway. So it's like, kind of makes sense that this person was, you know, wanted control and you're, you're trying to punish them. And now they're, you know, trying to smack you with what you were doing. Like, oh, you tried to punish me. Okay. I'm going to make you feel it too. Very tit for tat energy here. Okay. And this person was had control issues. There it is, control issues and someone who's been running in and out anyway. They're used to getting their way. So you're not going to tell them what, what to do and you're not going to make them feel something that they don't want to feel. Even if they feel it, you're not going to make this person feel something they don't want to feel. Very, very tyrannical type of attitude, very macho type of attitude or very um, egotistical, even if it's so divine feminine. Okay, very egotistical. And some of you may experience this in the future. Ten of Pentacles always comes out in your reading. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. I see baby here. I see baby here. So maybe in the past you did not have one for whatever reason, but in the future you will. I do see child here. I see a birthing of a family. I see a birthing of a family unit with that Ten of Pentacles. Came out anyway. You got the Empress. I'm not going to take it, but you got the Empress and you got the Eight of Wands. Some of you are going to be moving. Some of you may have to move in with your family or you moved in with your family or family members moved in with you. I do see that. They may have to move in with you to help you while you're pregnant or when you give birth. Let's go ahead. Let's get the last three. This is for Taurus. We got the Strength card. Yeah, I see you moving on. It's hard, though. It is really hard, but I do see you moving forward. Because there's someone new giving you something. <sighs> Told you, King of Wands. It's a new person coming in here with the magician. It's going <laughs> to... This is going to be the miracle. You're going to be like, I'm too old. I'm too old to have a child. I'm too old to, like, you know, whatever. Whatever you feel. You feel like you're either aged out or you feel like it's never going to happen because no matter what you do, you're never able to actually get what you want out of a relationship. And the magician card here is like, why are you thinking like that? I can make anything happen. Okay. So that is your last card, the miracle card. Literally. And then you guys have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is winning anyway. I'm telling you right now, you got new love here, but somebody from the past ain't gone. I feel like it's been a while or it will be a while before they come back in when, you know, when they're stopped playing or when they're bored, they're like, oh, let me just see what Taurus is doing. I'm telling you right now, be prepared for that energy because I really do see it. OK, but it'll be too late because you guys are going to be off with someone else and you're going to be living your best life. OK, but this is what I have for you here, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys back here real soon. All right. Love you, Taurus. Bye.